Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron Mackenzie Lafergi. Another E3 come and gone, a bunch of new game trailers to peruse. There are some exciting things on the horizon, but there were a bunch of other exciting things we were expecting to get that didn't end up happening, and that's lame. So today I'll go over some of the games that we were hoping to see at E3, but we didn't. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below. And if you want more, check out our video on the companies that lost at E3. Before you do that, get ready, it's time to talk about the games we didn't get to see at E3 2018. start off with Mortal Kombat 11. Still can't believe there have been 11 Mortal Kombats. Gosh, I'm old. Anyway, yeah, leading up to E3, the internet was abuzz with folks certain that Mortal Kombat would be showcased. People were theorizing as to who would be in it, what the story would be, and what new mechanics might be added. But then at E3, we didn't get anything. So I did some digging and like there's pretty much no evidence whatsoever that this would be happening. There's no teasers, no reveals. People just kind of went, well, it's been a while since we had a new Mortal Kombat game, so it's probably gonna be one, but there might not be. And if there is, I'm not sure why Sony wouldn't have showcased it, but they didn't. Moving on to a late addition to the E3 wishlist, Skate 4. And for those who don't know, the Skate 3 servers were turned off back in 2016, but then on June 6, 2018, the online servers for the skateboarding game Skate 3 randomly turned on. So a week before E3, a previously dead game had its servers brought back online. This of course led people to assume that we'd be seeing a new Skate game at E3, either a remaster or a sequel. Because why the hell wouldn't it? But then EA had their conference and there was no Skate 4. And as of now, they haven't really explained it. It looks like there probably is a Skate 4 on its way, especially since the company has reportedly renewed the Skate trademark and even opened a new one for the sequel. But those are just rumors, so we'll have to wait and see to know for sure. Next, we have Metroid Prime 4. Following a hella exciting announcement at the last E3, everyone was assuming we'd hear more about it this year. But we were left sadly wanting. This was actually one of the biggest upsets in the Nintendo conference because fans really had their hopes up on it. Nintendo ended up making a statement about this and said that they thought about including Metroid, but it was so far out still that they felt it'd be better to focus on more imminent games. Which makes sense, but maybe at least show a little trailer just to give us a taste. Just a taste. Then we move on to the first Square Enix disappointment, Final Fantasy. One of the biggest upsets at the Square Enix conference was the complete lack of Final Fantasy. We didn't know if we'd be getting a new game or a remake of Final Fantasy VII, but we knew we'd get something. But we were wrong. We were so, so wrong. Now this probably means that there won't be any Final Fantasy games out this year, so we'll have to wait for next year. Still unsure if it will be a remaster or a new game, we'll have to wait and see. Next we have the new core Pokemon games. And just before E3, we were teased with the new Pokemon games coming out later this year, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. When they announced them, Nintendo made it clear that there would still be some core Pokemon games coming out in 2019 that would be more what we're used to. Which made a bunch of people, myself included, assume we'd hear more about these core games at E3. Sadly, similar to Metroid, these games were apparently left off because they're so far off, which is a bit disappointing, because that probably means they won't be out until after E3 2019, which is a long way off. And finally, we have my own biggest disappointment, the Avengers Project. This is the one that hit me the hardest. I actually heard of it super late, which is kind of embarrassing considering I work for a comic book channel and a video game channel, but when I did hear about it, I got super psyched. Superhero video games are surprisingly rare and good superhero games are even more so. Mostly just Batman and Spider-Man. And after Avengers was teased a year ago and even got a trailer, fans thought it was a shoe in for the Square Enix conference, but no dice, not even a damn photo. And I'm pissed, I want that game. I want that game so bad. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Let me know in the comments which of these games you most wanted to see or if your game isn't on this list. And of course, check out our E3 2018 playlist for more videos like this one. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Top 10 Gaming. Later gamers.